What's going on dudes? It is Colossalis here. Welcome back to another video. This kind of, this one is kind of unexpected just because uh, just yesterday um, Heroes of the Storm team of Blizzard has announced that there will be a PTR releasing testing the new brawls which, we, which again we will be playing a little bit. I'll be recording them today and then also Samuro coming out in the in the PTR. So this is going to be the first look I had at the hero and we're going to have it together. I will go over the abilities the talents and then also some possible builds at the end so if you're not into this kind of stuff if you're just here for the gameplay then you can skip this video but if you're here for you know for the nitty gritty detail and all the different like newest builds um just kind of theory craft and if you're interested in that then stay with me and we're gonna have some fun so let's do this shit All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves in the try mode, which, by the way, has changed. Um, there's actually a boss you can do right now. It's right here. Look at that. Look at that. That's just a boss from a Garden of Terror. Not Garden of Terror, but uh, uh, Curse Hollow. That's, uh, that's where it's from. Anyway, so Samuro, he is a melee assassin. That's what his labels at, labeled at. And let's look at his abilities. He has, on his queue, he has a mirror image. Create two mirror images that deal 30% of your damage and have 50% of your current health. Images last up to 16 seconds and only two can be active at one time, which means... if It means that we will be able to reduce the cooldown of the mirror images uh, at some point. Uh, because if we wouldn't been able to go under 16, we would not be able to... They would not say that there can be only two at, at the time. So. We press Q, and we see that they go ham. Can I control them at all? Doesn't look like it, I can... And yeah, so they are dealing basically 50%, right? 30% of my damage and they have 50% of my health. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Um, let's, let's actually move myself to be uh, level 20. Set level, level 20. I have to go down there again. God damn, man. Right, so that was our cube. It's called Mirror Image. Seems pretty cool. A 16, uh, 16 second cooldown, so that, that's how long they'll actually be lasting for if, they, if they're not going to get killed. On our W ability, we have Critical Strike. Your next basic attack within 8 seconds will be a Critical Strike, dealing 50% increased damage. This also applies to images, does not break Wind Walk. Okay. And then you also have your passive. You and your images deal a critical strike on every fourth basic attack. So you can activate this, but you can also, but you also get this passively with every fourth basic attack. Pretty cool. How uh, how how quick is this basic attack? Well, that's pretty damn quick. Look at this. So every fourth attack. Okay, so you can do double damage. I see. I see. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, so that's critical strike, and then we also have wind walk. Enter stealth for up to eight seconds, and and until you attack, use an ability or take damage. Okay. While stealth, your movement speed is increased by thirty percent, so up to up to a mount speed, and you can pass through other units. God damn, man, that's pretty cool. So we go into that. We can pass through everything. It's grace. It's grace. It's eight seconds. You know, toggle our cooldown just so we can try out different things. That's going to be super good. So you move at mount speed and you can move through targets. Um, also, damage taken within the first one second will not break wind walk. So let's say you're in a very bad situation and you need to get away, you bam, you pop, pop this, you maybe evade a little bit. And even if you take damage in that one split second, you you will still you will still not break stealth and people will not be able to hundred percent see you. Of course, they can still see you. Like you, you can kind of see Nova. You can see, you can kind of see her glimmer when she's in stealth. But anyway, uh, by the way, just uh, this Hellblade skin just looks amazing. By the way, anyway, so let's look at our talents. Actually, no, we still have um our trait, which is called Advancing Strikes. Basic attacks against enemy heroes increase your movement speed by 
percent for two seconds. That's gonna be really good for chasing people. God damn. So I move faster. So he's gonna be really good for kiting. As in like, you know, somebody's gonna be trying to kite him. He also has a cool indicator when the critical strike is gonna going to happen. Look, bam. Okay, I see. So he's gonna be really good. So you go really good for like striking and then um, pressing move and then you know striking again. If somebody is trying to kite you, uh, you can just kind of follow them by you know attacking, moving, attacking, moving, attacking, moving, attacking, moving. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, he's gonna be very very uh, strong for from what I can see at the moment. So let's let's look at his talent now. Let's look at his talents now. Uh, by the way, what I'm saying is that he is kind of squishy. Uh, he only has uh, three thousand eight hundred health at level twenty, which is, which I think is less but than Illidan. Don't get me wrong, but I, th I don't want to be wrong. But I'm, I might check this afterwards, and then just put an annotation somewhere on the screen if that, if that was correct. But um, that's my, just my. He might be pretty squishy for a for a melee assassin. But again, he has Windwalk, so he can pretty much get away from almost everything, to be honest with you. Anyway, so let's look at his talents uh, now for sure. Uh, we have our... On level 1, we have Way of Illusion, which is a questing talent. Every time one of your images critically strikes a hero, gain 0.5 attack damage up to 20. Uh, after hitting 40 heroes, gain an additional 20 attack damage. So it's not yourself; it's only your illusions that are, that can uh, that can go towards that um, that quest. It seems okay. Uh, Way of the blade: critical strike happens more often. Critical strike now happens every third basic attack instead of every fourth, and deals an additional twenty-five of your basic attack damage. That's super good. So it's not it's not fifty percent; it's seventy-five percent now, and every third of a basic attack. So if we buff this, does this, uh, do I, right, so, when I buff this, Way of the Blade, will my, uh, also my W increase it to be 75% uh, more? Uh, let's reset, let's so, right now, what's our critical strike lad? 306. Yeah, so there we go. So, 306. Now, if we choose this and we walk up to the target... 356. Activate. Yes! Okay, so it's both the ones you get from just auto-attacking every third basic attack and you, when you activate, we'll be dealing 75% more damage on your next basic attack within 8 seconds. And that's pretty damn strong. It's not going to be every fourth, it's every third basic attack. Pretty damn strong if you ask me. Right, and then also the last one we have Way of the Wind, which is another questing talent, uh, which is attacking an, a, a hero from Windwalk increases the movement speed bonus of Windwalk by 1.25 up to 25%. After hitting 20 heroes, the duration of before wind walk can be broken, damage is increased by 2.5. That's really good disengage. Dude. That's a really good disengage. I want to try something. If we enter our wind walk and we press W, it doesn't break our wind walk. That is so strong. That is so strong. Okay, anyway. Okay, so that that does break it. That switches my location. That's weird. So I press Q, it switches my location. I don't know what to say. Anyway, um. So I think Way of the Blade seems the best here, but Way, Way of the Wind is also very good. Actually, all three of these are pretty damn good. I think Way of the Illusion is pretty bad. Because you only get 40 uh, plus uh, f plus 40 on the basic attack. So these two will be probably the most picked. I'm probably going to go for Way of the Blade. Alright, level 4 talents. Mirage. Mirror Image grants spell block. A mirror Image grants you and your images two charges of spell block, reducing damage 
from the next enemy ability against you by 50% can hold up to two charges. As it looks, that seems pretty damn strong. One with the wind. While stealthed by a wind block, you take 60% reduced damage from all sources. That is very strong. So, so just that one attack. That one source of damage will be reduced by 60%, just kind of like, you know, just flat reduction from that one attack. And then while advancing in is active, once adv while advancing strikes is active, you would take 25% reduced damage from hero basic attack. Seems very strong against like someone like Ruvala, Rainer, or even Illidan. Or you'll be able to just kite, uh, basically, you know, just kind of keep walking with them, and keep attacking them, and reduce your, um, reduce your, basically the damage that you take from basic attacks by twenty five percent. That seems very strong. Uh, but I think the best one here has to be wind walk. If somebody attacks you within the first second, you you're not gonna get unstealth. Therefore, with that one second window is where you can get attacked. And your 60% decrease will stay up until you get attacked after that one second period. So, you know, is that one second plus the next attack, you'll, it will be a reduction. So this seems very strong. And Mirage, you know, seems good against just heroes overall. You know, that like Li Ming, Kelpas, and uh, Chromie, and Jaina. So one with the wind, I think it will be my choice. But honestly, all three of these are, seems pretty, seem pretty viable for different situations. Level 7. Uh, all for critical strike. Critical, so it's called Burning Blade. Critical strike unleashes a few a burst of flame, dealing additional sixty five percent of your basic attack damage to the target and nearby enemies. God damn, man, that's pretty good. Very good for clearing waves. Level seven is pretty late, and I don't think he has he's gonna have a really strong wave clear besides just his basic attacks, which are very very quick. Anyway, next one, Phantom Pain. Critical strikes deal additional 40% of your basic attack damage for each image you have active. So very, very um, kind of like connected to your maybe emitter image build if you go if you're going for that. Uh, critical strike now has two charges and critical strikes deal an additional 25% of your basic attack damage. So if you go for this one and this one, this is 100% additional damage, and now you can deal twice. So you can kind of deal three times the damage. Holy God damn. So if you go for that, it's 25 from that, 25 from that, which means it's 100% more. So with 204, therefore we're going to be dealing 408 damage. So you can activate this twice, plus get a triple basic attack. That seems really strong. I'm also curious about this. Uh, so let's go for that again. Burning. Three hundred fifty-seven plus uh, whatever the damage was from the fire attack. Hundred thirty-three from the cooldown. And that's going to be a cleaving attack. Hmm. Seems okay. Seems okay. Seems like it's actually more damage, but this gives you two charges of that, which seems a little bit stronger to me. This is going to be good for a team fight. It's going to be good for finishing off single out, singled out targets. So again. I don't think Phantom Pain is going to be good unless you're going for like a. Um, you know, Q themed build, kind of like a uh, mirror image themed build. So yeah, I think that one's going to be the best. When, you, especially when you're just trying to chase, you know, just a single out target. Right. So now we have Blade Storm, becomes an unstoppable whirlwind of death. That seems pretty good, just because you deal 540 damage per second for four seconds so it's kind of like a much better version of uh, black march march of the black king that's what it is and illusion master 
Images can be controlled. Switch faces with the target mirror image. You can control your images separately or as a group. And they deal an additional 20% of your damage. So now they deal 50% of your damage. Wow. Issue orders to Samuro only. So you can click that. Oh god damn. This becomes like fucking Vikings. That's Samuro. That's the other one. That's the other one. I'm gonna really like the hero, but I don't think I'm gonna ever pick that talent. Choose a talent. <sighs> I mean, I would have to play Vikings now to get better at controlling multiple targets at the same time. And I already see a use for this. Besides, like, scanning off p enemies. Like, he doesn't have a lot of displacement. To maybe spawn a copy and send that copy to kill somebody. It also depends on the, on the range of the copy. Alright, so let's spawn a copy. Let's pick this again. Let's spawn a copy, let's just grab the second, actually the third copy, and let's send it up here. Let's send it up here. Uh, send the second one over there. That one died. Okay, looks like they have unlimited range. And that seems okay. That seems okay then. But I still want to try out the, um, the Blade Storm. That is really strong. Look how much damage that is. Two thousand and two and a half thousand almost damage in an area. That just seems nuts. That's going to be super strong. Uh, and you become unstoppable, so no nothing can stop you. Seems super strong, and I don't think Illusion Master is going to be enough of a payoff. I mean, you can switch places with the, with the target mirror image, so you can send them in three different directions. And, you know, if you get engaged on, you can switch the position with one of them. I don't think, that, I don't think that's super strong, like, as strong as Blade Masters, for, uh, Blade Storm, for, uh, for example. Anyway, mo moving to, on to level 13, we got Mirrored Steel. Attacks reduce mir mirror image cooldown. So basic attacks against heroes reduce the cooldown of mirror image by one second. Seems okay. Kavarimi. Uh, wind walk creates an image. Wind walk creates an image at your location that will continue uh, wherever you were going. Oh shit! So you're going this way. This is gonna create uh, an image, and you can create. You can you can basically go with you know going with a different direction then come behind him and, and use your you know, ultimate and stuff like that look how strong this is that is crazy you're done you just use this that is really strong. That is too strong, I think. Right, so this seems very... Kavarimi seems pretty damn strong. Let's reset the tunnels again. Or you got Shukuchi, which is Windwalk teleports you. Windwalk teleports you to a short distance in the direction you're currently facing. So when you pick that and you keep going... Oh god, it's like a blink. It's broken. So you get one second of invulnerability, basically. Like you know, I mean, you're still gonna take damage, but they won't be able to knock you out of your. I wonder if you can actually do that over the wall. No, you can't. I 
They're super strong. This is super strong. You can disengage very, very well with this, and people will not be able to kind of make out where you are, unless they'll be able to see the second smoke right there. Super strong. Anyway, so I think that will be your your choice for that um, for that level range. Mirror image, mirror steel. Again, if you're going for a mirrored um, image build style, you, that seems pretty okay. But Shikuchi seems very very sick. Wind walk is good for juking people. And I think you'll be you'll be making um, a juke city real place with Kavarimi. <laughs> Seems, seems okay. Seems pretty like a strong tier anyway. On level 16, uh, Merciless Strikes. Always critically strike disabled targets, which is just kind of a similar version of... Uh, what's the name? Executioner. <clears throat> Basic attacks against slowed, rooted, or stunned targets are always critical strikes. That is super strong. And it says targets. It doesn't just say heroes. So I wonder if it's gonna be uh, if they're gonna nerf that to be just heroes. All right, harsh winds attacks from windwalk to in attack from windwalk to increase damage. That seems super strong. Attacking a hero from windwalk causes them to take thirty percent increased damage from you and your images for three seconds. That is wow. And press the attack. Advancing strikes increases attack speed. While advancing strike is active, a basic a basic attack increases your attack speed by fifteen percent, up to sixty. Look at this! So as long as you keep attacking somebody, you'll be just attacking like crazy. And that's for three seconds. So you can kind of get away and then again, start attacking again. Seems okay, seems pretty damn good this one. Let's, um... So honestly, Harsh Wind seems pretty damn good, and Press the Attack seems okay. It seems very good for like 1v1ing people. But it's your basic attack, so anyone like Illidan will be able to just dodge those. And with the new meta Chen, again, he can just activate to kind of to just kind of mitigate all the damage he's taking from basic attacks. Uh, still seems very strong to Press the Attack and Harsh Wind. Merciless Tracks is going to be only in the very specified compositions of, of heroes. Like, maybe very strong with ETC, who can stun almost almost all the time, and then he picks up Face Melt, which slows enemies on his W. Actually, it's a W, yeah, a W, yeah. Hmm. Very strong, very strong. So I think I'm, I, I think I'm going to go for Harsh Winds. And then we have Dance of Death. Images use Blade Storm. So you just have to make sure you, you have your Q up before you do your R. Seems okay, but it's very situational because you have to have your Q off cooldown. Wind Strider, greatly reduce wind walk cooldown, wow, to six seconds. That is really strong. Actually, all of his talents are seems very strong. Besides like, besides like two talents, all of his talents seem pretty strong. And then Blade Master's Pursuit. Increase advancing strike effect and duration. Advancing strike grants an additional 15% movement speed and its duration is increased by 2 seconds. So it's going to be 40% for 4 seconds. Wind Strider. Very good for disengage. And also if you picked up Harsh Winds, it's going to be really good for engaging. So I go into this. 530 damage, and then they take increased damage. God damn, that's a lot of burst. That's 4,000 4, damage I've just dealt there. Plus, like if somebody's just uh, kind of running away from you, you can shoot Kuchi towards them. You gain, you gain movement speed with your wind walk, and then they take increased damage for three. Wow. Now. For the build, so the build I came up with kind of um, 
is really assassin like like you basically focus on just getting down your target as soon as possible and then also dealing some aoe damage with the blade storm kind of getting in in the team fight from you know, maybe from behind or from a side and just using your blade storm and also just kind of singling out the target and just finishing them off with your trait and That is just damn strong. That's just super strong. Right, so let's reset the balance. Um, let's wait up until they will expire. Right. So uh, with my build, I went for Way of the Blade, uh, just to make it every third basic attack so instead of every every fourth, and increase it to be seventy five percent increased damage. Then went for the deflection. No, actually I went for the one with the wind, which is constant reduction of 60% any damage source for first second, just because you are stealth no matter what hits you or no matter what happens, you're stealth for that. And then after that second, whatever next thing hits you, it gets reduced by 60%. So that's super strong, I, I, I believe. Um, so that's my build. Crushing blows. I have two charges, so you can do quite a lot of burst damage. Uh, mind that between the charges you have like a one second cooldown that, that you have to wait out. Um, but still, Critical Strike now has two charges and Critical Strike deal additional 25. So it's not, no longer 75, it's 100% additional basic attack damage on the Critical Strike. And you can, do, you can activate it twice along also with every third basic attack just kind of passively having Critical Strike. Level 10 wait for Blade, Sto uh, Blade Storm. That seems very strong. Um, then I went for Shikuchi. That is very good for disengage and also engaging. If somebody's running away from you and they have some movement speed, you can close the gap with your uh, wind walk with, uh, with a very short blink. That's going to be broken. Uh, let me just tell you, this talent is going to be broken. Uh, this is going to be good for, for Duke City moves, but this one is just broken. On 16, I think Harsh Winds is the best choice. Um, especially with the level 20 Wind Strider. The reduced cooldown with the Shikuchi, with the Harsh Winds, it seems like it's going to be super crazy. So you close the gap with your E. Actually, no, you Q first, you close the gap with your E, and then you and, then you and your... Um, guys just go on on the rampage on somebody so that seems strong let's let's actually look at some other ones because he has a lot of like you know just one talent synergies so what i mean by that you'll be able to basically build whole builds around just one ability so a level one you can go way of the illusion on here you go for mirage so you will be so your guys will empower your basic attacks to also empower their basic attacks and then that will also reward, reward you in a certain bonus on level four. You go for Mirage, which is a spell block, which, which is almost always good. Because you can find ability damage almost everywhere in the Hero League and click much anywhere. On seven, you go for Phantom Pain, which means a critical strike deals an additional 40% damage of basic attack damage for each image you have active. Which means that actually having images will be very very beneficial to your uh, to your W, so so this this will be kind of like a mirror image build. You go for the illusion master, which lets you will let you control them. So maybe gank enemies or something like that. They will, but they will also be deal dealing twenty percent more damage. Uh, so now they'll be they'll be spawning with fifty percent of your damage and fifty percent of your health. And then on thirteen, you go for mirrored steel. Which basic attacks against heroes reduce the cooldown of your mirror image. That's going to be super strong. So again, that was that's what I was talking about. If you would not be able to at any point in in the game reduce the cooldown of your mirror image, they would not mention that they can only be, they can only be two active at at, at one time. So there is your uh, uh, cooldown reduction. On this rev range, I think you still go for harsh winds or press the attack if you if you if you if you enjoy that better. And then on 20, images have increased the health and duration. There you go. So now your images will have 100% of your health, which will be just the same amount of your health. 
and will be lasting 32 seconds, so twice the amount. That is crazy. So there you go. There's just one of the other builds, but you can also go for a different build. You can go, I think, for the way for the way for the windwalk build. So way of the wind will be able to increase your bon uh, your movement speed and windwalk. Plus, will be increasing the duration in which they cannot break your invisibility, your cloak. On four, you go one with the wind, which which is just just a super strong ability, especially when you complete this uh, this quest. This is going to be super strong because for 2.5 seconds after using Windwalk, you'll be taking 60% less damage and then also whatever hits you after that 2.5 second, the first attack, be it a Illusion attack, be it a Pyroblast, you just straight up take 60% less damage from that. That seems really strong. Um, on 7, I guess you just go for any of these. Uh, I, I guess I would just go for Crushing Blows just because I uh, it will be just more, uh, more, burst, uh, more burst attack damage. Blade Storm, I think, is still the still better choice. Then you go for Kaw uh, no Shukuchi, sorry, Shukuchi is much better because you can actually blink um, towards the target. Harsh Winds, and then Sh Wind Strider. That seems very strong. So you either go for my build, which which I which I uh, which I three crafted the Way of the Blade, uh, one with the Wind, Crushing Blow, Blade Storm, Shukuchi. Harsh Winds and then Wind Strider, or you go for the full on Wind Bug build, which is Way of the Wind, One with the Wind, uh, Crushing Blows, Blade Storm, Shikuchi, Harsh Winds, and then with Wind Strider. Which means you only change one talent at level one <laughs> from my build. I mean, you might be uh, you might be changing ones here. This uh, burning blade might be might be good for area damage in like in later team fights. So there you are. There is Samuro and some of the builds for you. We went over all the talents. We went over all the abilities. He seems like a very strong hero, uh, but he very easy, very very easily counterable uh, when you blind him, when you stun him. Uh, he'll be very easy to kill just because he seems very, very squishy. Don't quote me on that, though, because I might be wrong when it comes to his health. But uh, very easy and terrible just because uh, you can slow his basic attacks. You can uh, slow him. You can blind him. So Artanis might be coming back with his... Uh, what's his other thing called? The Pulse, whatever. The, the other heroic. Not the laser, but the other heroic. The heroic. Um... So this might enable other characters to be actually super strong. Brightwing might come back with the Polymorph. Polymorph is going to be super strong, I think, on um, on Semuro because he won't be able to go, to go into his Windwalk. But yeah, but other than that, he seems like a very strong hero that, that you will need to be careful to not fuck with. All right, awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, slap that like rating. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. If you didn't like the video, tell me why you didn't like it. Uh, why you didn't like it? It's it always helps me out a lot to improve and everything like that. We had a very successful stream today, uh, another two hours of Mafia Three. So if you're interested in in you know, basically Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, or any of the more popular um, releases that come out, I you know I try I tend to play almost all of these so and focus on Heroes of the Storm. But um, yeah, I'm very excited for Samuru, for Samuru, for Samuro. And we will be playing some um, what's the, uh, Heroes Brawl uh, next up. I think I'm going to be recording some of that. So thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next one. Peace on the motherfucking streets. Bye.